welcome back to the Omega Gym Fitness. So I've just finished this workout. It's basically a 20 exercises thigh workout. It will train your inner thighs, your outer thighs. I'm sorry, I'm really out of breath because this workout is absolutely amazing for your thighs. So if you have excess fat on your thighs, you feel you want to tone up your thighs and build some lean muscles and you know give them a nice shape, then this workout is for you. 20 exercises, do them according to the repetitions and the sets given in the description of each exercise and you're sorted. So guys, I have a free workout calendar for you all for one month. I have linked it in the description box below. Link pe click karo, go document aapke mobile ya computer jisse bhi aap dekh rahe ho, ye video usme save ho jayega. It's a month of free workouts. So I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get this video to 5000 likes. Let's start with these exercises. So our first workout is forward lunge. Stand with your feet 6 inches apart from each other, toes pointed forward. Step forward with one leg and lower your body to 90 degrees at both the knees. Don't step out too far. There should be at least 2 to 2.5 feet between your feet at this point. Keep your weight on your heels and don't allow your knees to cross your toes. Push up and back to the start position to complete one rep. For lateral lunges, begin by standing with your feet shoulder width apart, hands on your hips. Step to the right side and shift your body weight over to the right leg, squatting to a 90 degree angle at the right knee. Try to sit back down with your butt, keeping your back as upright as possible. This exercise works your quads, glutes and inner thighs. Exercise number 3 as the name suggests is courtesy lunge. Start from standing and step your left leg behind you to the right so that your thighs cross, bending both knees as if you were courtesying. Make sure your front knee is aligned with your front ankle. Return to standing and switch sides to complete one rep. This exercise targets your quads, glutes and calves. For skater lunges or side lunges, stand with your feet shoulder width apart and jump into a low lunge with your fingers alternatively touching your toes. This completes one repetition. This exercise targets the quads, the hips and the hamstrings. It is an agility and a strength building exercise. The exercise is quaplet squats. So basically you have to stand shoulder width apart and sit down into a squatting position. Make sure that your knees do not extend your toes and when you come up squeeze your glutes. Squeezing glutes is very important to activate the mind and muscle connection so that this effectively works your glute muscles. This is a glute dominant workout but it also targets your quads and your hamstrings. For sumo squats, stand with your feet wide, toes pointing out. Bend your knees, lowering your hips deeply so that your thighs are parallel with the floor. Make sure to keep your weight back in your heels. Then rise up, straightening the legs completely and squeezing the glutes at the top of the movement to get the most from this exercise. This squat variation targets your inner thighs as well as your glutes, quads and hamstrings. Next exercise is player squats. Stand with your feet slightly wider than shoulder distance apart and toes turned out into a 45 degree angle. Bend your knees and lower your torso keeping your back straight and your abs tight. Squeeze your glutes and come to the standing position. Plie squats work your glutes, quads, hamstring and your inner thighs. This is a great exercise to get the inner thigh burn. We follow up the plie squats with plie squat pulses or jumps. Here you are going to jump in the plie squat motion 
to focus more on the inner thigh. This exercise will fire up your inner thighs completely. The next variation is with calf raises. Here we do a standard plie squat and then finish it up with a calf raise. In this workout we get the benefits of a normal plie squat but also activate and utilize our calf muscles while doing the calf raises. To increase your heart rate in this workout, we are going to do squat jumps. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Start by doing a regular squat, then engage your core and jump up explosively. When you land, lower your body back into the squat position to complete one rep. Land as quietly as possible because this requires your core control. Wall squats is probably the most simple looking exercise but gives the most amount of quad burn, that is thigh burn. Stand with your back against a wall, placing your feet about 2 feet out in front of you. Bend your knees, slide back and sit against the wall until your knees are 90 degree angles to the floor. Hold this for 30 to 60 seconds and then stand back up. For lateral leg lifts, lay sidewards on the ground and keep your body supported with your elbows. Then raise your legs slowly in a controlled motion and bring them down. This helps to strengthen the muscles on the side of your legs or the lateral muscles and gives an overall toned lean look. Now for the inner thigh lifts, you have to cross bend your leg and raise the leg which is on the lower side that is the leg which is touching the ground and raise it slowly in a controlled manner this will help you strengthen your inner thigh lying on your side with hips and knees bent and knees together raise your top knee towards the ceiling keeping your feet together hold and then slowly lower your knee Repeat several times on both sides. This exercise targets the outer and the inner thigh muscles. The thigh in and out exercise targets the inner thighs and the outer thighs. You have to make a V shaped with your legs and then cross your legs over on the top. This helps to build strength on your inner and outer thighs. This motion has to be slow and controlled. Do not rush over with this motion and keep your legs at a 90 degree angle. Lateral lunge lifts is a lateral lunge with a kick motion. It's a lateral lunge variation where the kick adds the extra agility and cardio to this exercise. Complete this exercise on one side and then start with the exercise on the other side. Squat side walks adds an extra tension to your quads as you have squat down and are walking sideways in the squatting motion. You will feel this exercise in your quad muscles as well as your glutes. Stay low and complete this exercise for the set amount of repetitions. Squat jacks adds the extra cardio to this routine. This is a complete leg burner. Here you squat low and then come back up in a jumping jack motion explosively. While you squat low, this targets the inner, outer, quads and the hamstrings as well as the glutes. This exercise is extremely difficult as you can see from my face. Next we come on to the lateral lunge pulses. Here you step laterally and perform a lunge but you do not come back up completely just keep pulsing in this motion 
to feel the burn in your outer and inner thighs. Our next exercise is courtesy leg lunge pulses. Here you perform a courtesy lunge without coming back up completely. Just keep the pulsing motion to feel the extra burn in your quads and your glutes. These moves are finisher moves for the burn effect after completing this entire routine.